Joe, we're going to have to have this out. Have what out? I've loved you ever since I've known you, and I can't help it, even though I've tried. Lori, I don't want to have this conversation. I know you don't. I've tried to show you how I feel, but you refuse to see it, so now I'm going to make you hear it and give me an answer. Joe! I don't want you to be unhappy, Lori. I went away so that you wouldn't be. It was no use. I spent the whole time trying to turn myself into someone good enough for you to love. You are good enough. You've always been good enough. It's just I can't love you in the way that you want me to. I've tried, and I won't lie and say I love you like that when I don't. Have you really, truly tried? Really, truly. I'm so desperately sorry. I'd kill myself if I thought it would help. What way would that help, Joe? I don't know, but it would be easier than making myself love you when I don't. That can't be done. Some people manage it. I don't believe in that sort of love, and I don't intend to try. I have something to tell you. If it's about that old man, I'd rather not hear it. What old man? That professor you were always writing home about. Professor Bear? We are friends, Lori. We talk about literature and plays You and... go to philosophical symposiums together. We went to one philosophical symposium. If you tell me you love him, I'll be the one who kills myself. I haven't the least idea of loving Professor Bear or you anybody will, else. in the end. And so will you in the end. I can't be sensible, Joe. I don't believe you've got any heart at all. And I wish I hadn't. <laughs> 